Yo, what's going on guys? It's Monk Reed here. Welcome back to another tour review by yours truly. Today we're looking at something rather unique as I haven't done an RC review in quite some time and today I got a real interesting one for you guys. Today we're taking a look at the XPV Blade Saw. So this is a brand new RC that just came out from XPV, also known as Extreme Performance Vehicles. And this is a rather unique RC. So right off the bat, um, it's a tri it's almost like a trike sort of design, where you have two wheels in the front, one wheel in the back, and it has this design to it, right? This beast sort of design that oddly gives me vibes of the brain bots. If you guys remember the movie Megamind, that's kind of what this reminds me of, this sort of bestial design. So let's get a close look at this beast. So right up here, you do have these cool looking eyes here, this rubber spiky sort of like mohawk that looks kind of like sandblasted metal, which I really like that detail. Up at the front, you kind of have like this, almost looks like a piranha mouth or something. Some sort of like bestial, like, like grr sort of mouth to it, which looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. Uh, the wheels back here have this nice sort of, uh, again, they have these blades in there, which actually do move around as the car moves. These little blades will spin, which is kind of cool. And these are rubberized wheels. Very hard rubber, but rubber regardless. On the back, nothing really to see. But, of course, we still have more wheel detail going on here. Again, with that more brush metal detail and that sort of free-spinning sort of blade in there. And then, of course, we have the front, which the wheel is a bit dirty here because I have done a bit of testing with this. And, like I said, it's really, really unique. And also this blade here, too. Both blades on the sides here are also free spinning hard to kind of see that but they do free spin a little bit so now to the actual gimmick of this vehicle uh actually but i'm getting a bit ahead of myself let's actually go to more of the specs of this thing so this thing requires six double a batteries to six double a batteries out of frame to power this beast and of course you also need two double a batteries to power the remote standard pistol grip style remote um it has, again, that more chainsaw sort of like buzzsaw design to it. And you have this big steering wheel on the back, which you can use to steer the vehicle left and right. And you do have the nice sort of green details going on. I love the colors for this thing, by the way. If I haven't made that evident, I love the colors and the design of this thing. as It's really unique as RCs like this don't come out that often. As the last sort of RC that I saw like this, I believe was the Hot Wheels Terrain Twister. Could be wrong about that. And that, I believe that came out around the time that the Tyco Terraniac and the, um, what was it? The Tyco, what was it called? The Terra Crawler, yeah. And the, oh, what was the other one? The Shell Shocker. Yeah, those sort of things came out. Back when RC vehicles were all over the place and they were very strange. And this is the only one in recent years that I've seen. And it's the only one, obviously, I was able to actually get for review. But anyway, so... Moving on to the gimmick of this vehicle, which is all over the box. I'll show you guys the box in a minute. But uh, what you want to do with this thing is you want to go down here. There's a little gray switch right here. Let me get it in frame. And there's three different modes on it. There's try me, off, and then on. So obviously we want to turn it to the on position. Set the vehicle down. Make sure it's in frame. <laughs> And then you want to turn the remote on, which also, like I said, takes two AA batteries to power. Just flip the switch over, over here to the on position. It will automatically bind, and now you're able to control it. So obviously, you use this gear right here to spin the vehicle left and right or turn it. And see, it will turn that. But And of course, pushing the forward and backward makes the front wheel move forward and backward. But now to the main gimmick of this vehicle. You push down on the gear and blades come out. Yeah. <laughs> so you can mutate and shred as the box suggests. So once you turn it on and drive it forward, as you'll see. Now you have this buzz saw at the front. To turn it back, what you do is you push the button again and the wheel converts back. 
Very, very cool gimmick. I love this thing. So now let's quickly segue off to the box and take a look at that real fast before we actually do a little bit of a driving test to kind of demonstrate to you guys how the whole mutate and shred gimmick works on this thing. So here it is at last, the box for the XPV blade saw. And what's nice is that even in the box, it has this wire in it, which you can kind of see right there, this little right there where my finger is, there's a wire there that's hooked up to the back of the remote and on the bottom of the blade saw RC vehicle itself. And what, and what you do is you can actually push the little button that I showed you on the controller inside of the box, and it will automatically open the blades, spin them for a few seconds, and it will close them back up again which is really really cool so even in the store which i don't think this thing is actually sold in stores ironically i think it's only sold on amazon and stuff like that online retailers but still really really cool gimmick and really unique rc vehicle never seen anything like this before but anyway so xpv blades so rc it says there at the front of course we have the six spinning blades as i just showed you and it has full function control 2.4 gigahertz which means a hundred foot range so you can use this outdoors so that's kind of fun and then at the bottom it says the six batteries which of course i would recommend when you get this out of the box put your own batteries in because they're probably going to be dead by the time it comes to you from the online retailer you pick this up from because again i don't believe this is actually sold in physical stores at least not yet so XBV blade saw RC on the back. Of course, again, we have the 2.4 gigahertz right there. Again, with the full range control. Mutate and shred, the whole big thing there. Of course, it has cutting edge design. A lot of puns here. High performance and concealed and mutated right there. And you also have the six spinning blades advertised yet again. And of course, at the bottom, it does say 2021 on there. Of course, other legal jargon. Then on the bottom here, we do have the XBV Blade Saw RC. And then it says here, vehicle requires six AA batteries included. And, and the controller requires two AA batteries not included. So... That being said, and real quick on the on the top, it just says XPB Blades RC Mutate and Shred. Let me quickly do a quick uh, jump cut here to my floor where we can actually see this thing in action. So be right back, guys. Right, guys. So now we are on my floor in my room right now. You can kind of see the box there and the reflection on my mirror. But anyway. Let's turn this thing on once again. Oh, it is still on. Okay. Turn back on the remote, which automatically binds to the blade saw, or at least it should. Do I have to turn it off and back on again? That I do. Okay, now it's bound to the remote. And real quick before, let me get this back into frame again. Hopefully that's in frame. Nope, barely. There we go, now that should be in frame. Yep, now it's in frame. Before we actually continue and actually do a little driving test of the blade saw RC vehicle, I should mention that there are instructions for this. Please make sure to read these instructions carefully as you should do with any of your RCs and keep it for reference. Which basically, <laughs> it, should, it should tell you like basically the same thing that that it, that it does on the box. But anyway, that's quite enough talking. Let's get this thing rolling. So obviously this thing drives forward and backwards as it should. You can turn it left and right. And of course it is surprisingly fast. I gotta admit, this thing is surprisingly fast. But now let's do the mutate and shred. So push it. Blades are open, let's shred. Oh Jesus, <laughs> the whole thing flipped over, it's so fast. Okay, let me get it back in a frame here real quick. Let's see. There it goes. Okay, let me unmutate the blades again. There we go. And now let's mutate them again. Okay, I'm sh I have to kind of slow this thing down a little bit because, oh my god, it's so fast when it goes to the mutate and shred mode. Or the shredder blade mode, whatever you want to call it, when it does the gimmick. Okay. And there it goes off screen. Okay, we're just gonna get it back in the frame. Slowly but carefully. Yeah, this thing is much better for outdoor driving, for sure. 
If you guys want me to do an outdoor test, please let me know below in the comments, and I will do an outdoor test of this thing, and hopefully get I mean, hopefully get it into frame when it's actually driving around. But let's just do a little bit of driving just to end the video here of it um, turning around and sort of driving around. So. With that being said, guys, I think we're actually going to wrap up this rather short review of the XBB Blade Saw. Let me actually get it up to the camera here. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video on the XBB Blade Saw. If you, if, you, if you liked the video, please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell so you guys get notified for all my uploads. Later, Reed Squad, and have a good one.